Hey, how's it going, guys? I miss you. I'd much rather be seeing you guys in class than doing this, but seems like we got to get used to it. We got the whole month of April. Welcome to April, by the way, guys. But uh, we got this whole month of doing this online, so um, hopefully we're getting used to a new routine. Uh, I've been very pleased with, with how well you guys seem to be adjusting to all this, so, so great job. Uh, keep up the good work. I know there's been some hiccups. I know there's been some stresses, but um, you're doing well. You're doing well, especially considering the circumstances, guys. So count your blessings. Uh, we all have a lot to be thankful for. Uh, we should have your families um, and company over there with you in, in your house. So um, just push through. God's in control, not us. Um, and we're, we're, all very, we're all learning that very much right now. But anyway, um, the agenda for today, um, here it is, announcements, attendance, prayer, we're going to review the two problems from the test, great job by the way guys on getting our first test knocked out of the way, um, I'll put those results in uh, as soon as I have all of them in, I'm still missing one student, one score. Um, so we'll, we'll be okay. So just be a little bit patient with me. I'll try to get those in uh, by the end of by the end of today. Um, so we got the review of, of two test problems, the two short answer problems, and then we're going to take some brief notes, like very brief, because I found some some really good uh, YouTube videos by some guy that can that does it almost better than me. But that's why I put uh, yay math there. Uh, that's the video that you want to check out. And then we're going to do a couple practice problems, and then you have a, a, a homework assignment with six problems, that's it, um, of homework. So it's, it should be a relatively simple lesson, especially for those of you uh, who remember radicals from last year and Algebra 1, if you got to, if you got to them, um, but especially those of you that are doubled up and taking Algebra 2 right now. Um, the radicals uh, is all review, because you've already done that. You've already done that this year. So, uh, as always, make sure you guys keep checking your emails. Um, we're doing a great job of emailing me and responding to my emails. So, again, keep doing that. If you, if you have questions, feel free to let me know. I feel like I, I do, I've been doing a pretty good job of responding to your emails in a very timely fashion. So, I'll continue to do that for you. Um, so, yeah, otherwise, um, yeah, check those emails, please. Watch the videos in their entirety uh, from beginning to end. Uh, those videos are going to be very helpful. Okay, there's important information just like there is in class, right? Don't skip through the videos. Um, even I know, based upon how many of you viewed my review um, YouTube video for your test, I only had 71. I should have had 90, 91, I think. So 20 of you never checked out that chapter eight test review. Okay, but um, but considering we're doing very well, um, so let's uh, so just keep checking those emails, and if you ever ever get confused, let me know. But let's, uh, let's pray. Uh, in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit, Amen. Uh, Heavenly Father, continue to pray for all the intentions that uh, all of my students uh, listening right now, what they uh, submit on the Google Forms attendance. Uh, please lift those prayers up um, to you. Uh, and also, please pray for, the, for a slowdown and, and a, an eventual stoppage of the coronavirus uh, pandemic. Uh, let it be a, a constant reminder of how much we need of what we should have been thankful for in our lives. Uh, before this all happened, and hopefully we, we have a nice renewed spirit of ourselves and a renewed spirit of America and the world once this is all said and done. Uh, so help us continue to grow close to you throughout this whole process. Um, so with that being said, uh, we'd like to give praise and glory and uh, intercede through your mother Mary, uh, who is the protect protector of the whole world. Uh, remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, and was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgin, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of thy word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. All right, guys, let's get this lesson underway. Um, I'm going to try to keep it brief, because I know that you guys got a lot on your plate. Um, I'm trying to envision how it would be for me, if I was in your shoes as a as a high school, um, you know, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, any time I was in high school, so hope you guys like the like the jersey. 
wonder if y'all know who this is. I can't tell you. But uh, one of my one of my favorite NBA players growing up. So first thing on the agenda, we're going to review the two test answers that were short answer. All right, so I already have them up here on the board for you. These were the two short answer. Uh, the first one was, well, again, it doesn't matter. It was all they were all scattered all over the place. But this problem, whenever you had to figure out and type out an extended or short answer response, your guys, you guys were supposed to figure out this was the pre-image in black, and then this right here is your image. So you had to tell me in two steps how you can go from the black image to the green image. Okay, so, and the answer I have right there, right, majority of us did reflection and then a translation. You got to be specific on those, as, of course, um, but you could have also done it backwards. Okay, so uh, it, all, it all just depends on how you took it. There's many, many different answers. Some of you guys, or a lot of us, reflected it across this horizontal axis of y equals 1, bringing it from here to here. So it would look over here, right? So you'd move it over there. So you reflected across the line y equals 1, and then you translated it 6 units to the right, and that works. All right? Some of you translated it to the right first, and then you reflected it across y equals 1. Some of you reflected across the x-axis. Right, so you went here, boom, and you would have it would have started out like this, somewhere like that, and then you translate it up and to the right. All right, so there's many different answers. That's why that's why uh, it was not multiple choice. So um, then there, there's others. Some of you, uh, I think it was Zane maybe, who reflected his across this line, and he did a vertical reflection first to stack it right there on top, and then he just shifted it down, I guess. Now nah, I don't really remember. Anyway, but that works, right? So, oh no, you reflected it, Zane reflected it, and then he tried to do a, a rotation, okay? But that rarely do rotations work on in this case, um, but that's that's aside the point. I'm not going to get into that, but I did give Zane, I got, you got most of your points on that. If you have questions on, on why yours doesn't work, uh, feel free to email me, uh, anybody, on your test. So that was the first one. Then this one, a lot of you guys had it correct. However, you didn't answer the question. This is why Mr. G always gets on your case about reading. All right, so this one says, in words. A lot of you guys did the translation rule, which is great, but it says in words. I did that on purpose. I want to make sure you guys are reading for understanding. Okay, so, um, so you have to be able to determine that this right here is your pre-image. This is my image. So you're going from there to there based upon the, the vertices and the markings, right? Triangle D, E, F, triangle D prime, E prime, F prime. All right, so if you put this, how many do you have? One, two, so x plus 2, comma, y minus 3. If you put that, you got a 1 out of 2. Now you got 1 out of 2 um, because you did not do it in words. You had to say shift it to the right 2 and then down 3. That's what I was expecting on that answer. Um, but since I have this up, guys, there was oftentimes if you were typing in answers as well, a lot of you guys forgot to put that arrow, or you've got to put, or you've got to put that first half. Okay, but otherwise, those are the two answers for the test review. All right, so let's move on then. We're going to move on. That was chapter eight. All right, we got our first test done with uh, online learning. So hopefully, uh, it's not going, it's starting off well for you. I'm trying my best. If you have any suggestions as we go through this together. Feel free to let Mr. G know. All right. So let's clear the board. Moving on to chapter nine, my favorite chapter. All right. It involves trigonometry. All right. So chapter nine, I want to give you a, a brief 
uh, update, or not update, but just the agenda of how we're going to approach chapter 9. All right, so let me draw that a little bit darker. So chapter 9, we're going to start off with chapter 9 in geometry. It's actually, we're going to be reviewing algebra. All right, so this first lesson, this lesson today is actually a review. It is from algebra, but we're going to start off with a review of how to simplify radicals. That is today's lesson. Now we're going to move on to how to multiply and divide radicals. All right, but these are both algebra. Okay, these are both algebra lessons, these first couple. All right, because you have to know how to do radicals if you want to be successful in chapter 9. Okay, but then after this, we're going to do Pythagorean Theorem. We've already done Pythagorean Theorems, wait, Pythagorean Theorem in chapter 1, but we're going to be doing Pythagorean Theorem with radicals. Okay, so that is why we have to do this. All right, so Pythagorean Theorem is going to be next, and then we're going to do special right triangles all right so special right triangles are going to be 30 60 90 and 45 45 90 i mentioned that earlier on this year uh, so that's what we have next is special right triangles and then we're going to finish chapter 9 with my personal favorite trigonometry we're going to have getting tricky with it and we're going to get all that stuff done so that is the chapter 9 outlook for any of you long-term planners in the crowd. All right, so today it is Simplify Radicals, and this should be a relatively brief lesson here um, for this today. In fact, there's somebody that, uh, as I mentioned on the agenda, um, a lot of the video is going to be done by somebody else on YouTube because he does a really good job. So you guys have in your arsenal I emailed this document to you. Looks like this. All right, it is called Chapter 9 Intro. Chapter 9 Intro right there. Okay, so that is going to be uh, our notes, so to speak, on this chapter. So, simplifying radicals. This is on this paper. All right, let's put some definitions of what is a radical. I want you to put down on there, it is an expression using a square root. My board is sliding off my table. All right, so that is a radical, an expression using a square root. We all know that a square root symbol looks like this. All right, and then... Um, then the next one, radicand. That is just the number inside the square root. So if you have the square root of, I don't know, 37, 37 is the radicand. So that is the radicand is just the number inside the square root. And really that's all the definitions you need uh, for the beginning part of this lesson. So then it says, let's see, I'm just reading through these notes that you guys have. Uh, later on in high school, you will, you will encounter cube roots, fourth roots, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so in order to simplify radicals, you must know your, that first line is perfect squares which most of us already do, and your square roots. Okay, so that's what goes on those two lines. So you should have the first part of your notes all the way done. If you need, if you need more time, pause the video. Otherwise, I'm erasing it. Alrighty, so you guys see those tables, um, you guys probably already know the answers to those, 
the table on the left, I'm going to put, uh, those are my perfect squares. I'll put PS for perfect, perfect squares. And then that table right there. All right, so you got one squared. We all know squares. One squared is one times one, which is one. Two squared is two times two, which is four. Three squared is three times three, which is nine. You guys know all of those, right? So just fill those out all the way through 13. And then the next one, or that next column, are my, so we have perfect squares, and we've got SR for square roots. And it's the complete opposite. Okay, so the square root of one is one. The square root of two, sorry, getting a little ahead of myself. The square root of four is two. The square root of nine is three. The square root of 16 is four, and you guys can do the rest. Okay, so if you know your perfect squares and your square roots, this should be a really, really easy lesson. Okay, because again, it's an Algebra 1 lesson. But we need to review it so that you guys can do well in this section. Whoa, Mr. G, your table is going all over the place. There we go. All right. So then we just got to do some examples. Now, honestly, guys, I'm just going to be uh, transparent here. What I would recommend doing all right, right now is going to go check out that YouTube video that I sent you um, in the email. Right? It's, the, it's the Yay Math YouTube video. That guy does a really good job um, of explaining how to simplify square roots. I will do one example for you uh, right now. Um, and then, uh, but then I'm just going to have you guys um, watch watch his video, okay? Because that'll be um, he does a really good job, like I said. But if you have any questions, please let me know. So let's move on to uh, the next one. We'll do square root of 18 together for the first one. So square root of 18. We are going to simplify. Okay, so I need to simplify the square root of 18. Now, if you want to, like, you need to have this chart. You need to know how that chart right there, you need to, you need to know how to use this, so I will show you. What you need to do with this 18, that's your radicand, is you need to determine which, what your factors are of 18. All right, so what does 18 break down into? You know, 1, one and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6. Which one of these is the only number that is a perfect square? 9. So this top row is useless, and this bottom row is useless. You want to use 2 and 9. So the square root of 18 is the same thing as square root of 9 times the square root of 2. Okay? And then using that list, all right, what is the square root of 9 if you need it? 3. So you're going to get 3, no more square root symbol. This square root symbol goes away. All right? But the, this one right here does. It stays. So your answer is 3 square root of 2, and that is your final answer of that. Okay, so you are not allowed using a calculator unless you are checking your work. Okay, so I got your calculator right here. Okay, so if you want to use a calculator to check your work, because you have to know how to do this by hand if you want to know how to do the rest of this chapter. You can always type in your original answer or your original problem, square root of 18, and then your 
final answer of 3 square root of 2. And you should get the exact same decimal. All right, so I want to type this in. Square root of 18 equals, if you type that in, it is second x squared of 18. Click enter. You get 4.24. Okay? So then if you type in 3 square root of 2, you should get that same answer. So 3, second, x squared button, 2, click enter, 4.24. So I know that I did it right. Okay, so that checks off, that checks off. If these two are different, you messed up somewhere. And if you can't figure it out, email me. Because I feel like I respond to my emails very quickly. Okay, so that is, I'm just going to do that example here um let's see if i want to get another one in here let's do we'll do one more let's do square root of tw the 128 actually no let's go to the back side we got to do one that is uh a little bit more difficult here let's do Oh, I should have numbered those problems on the on the bottom. Let's do the 10 square root of 96. Okay, so what's different about this one? We have a number in front of our radical. Okay, and that's okay. That's okay. But act like this isn't there. All right, just temporarily act like that's not there. And only focus on this. All right, so break up the 96 right, using that chart. All right, try to figure out what numbers multiply uh, to get, a, get 96. Okay, so you got 1 and 96. You got 2 and what is that, 48? All right, then you just keep on going. All right, but the, the ones that you are going to end up getting to do are 6 and 16. All right, because 16 is a perfect Square. I guess you could do 4 and 24, except you want to get the bigger, the biggest one. And the guy in the video does a phenomenal job of explaining that. So, uh, 6 and 16 is what I'm going to use. So this breaks down into square root of 16 times the square root of 6. You can bring that 10 down there if you want to, but we're just kind of ignoring it, like I said. What is the square root of 16? 4. That's why we chose 16, because it's a perfect square. So the square root of 16 is 4, so I got 10 times 4, square root of 6. And so I've got two numbers in front now, so just multiply those together, and you're going to get 40 square root of 6. And that should be our final answer, because I can't break down 6 anymore. Okay? I can't break that down. I can't divide it by any perfect square. Not not one or what well, one's useless, um, but I can't break it down into divided by four, and then so I'm done. So that's my final answer. So this should be the same as that. So if you type in 10 square root of 96 and 40 square root of six into your calculator as two separate problems, you should get the exact same decimal. Okay. Again, de calculators are only used to check. Only used to check. Otherwise, you're not going to do well, like I said, on the rest of the chapter. All right. So, trivia question. If you are watching this video on your attendance sheet, make sure you answer it, and I'll give you, I will give you two bonus points, two percentage points on your geometry test. So you can go from a 79 to an 81. What city and state did Mr. G do his student teaching in whenever I was graduating college? Put that in on your attendance sheet for today, and if you get it correct, I'll give you bonus points. All right, so we have the, the notes. All right, we did... We got the video. Again, check out the video of Gay Math. He does a really good job with that. Um, we got our practice problems. 
uh, and then your homework is going to be emailed to you. Right? I'm going to put it on a Google form. It's matching. So it'll be a really easy way to uh, to do a, do a homework check and to give you guys some more points. All right, so make sure you do that. Check your emails carefully. Um, let me, before we completely move on, I was going to provide your answers to the classwork. All right, so let's do that real quick. I want to go back to the board. All right, back to the board. I want to write out all of your answers for this back side, okay? And then it will be done with the lesson. And you have to, you'll just, again, you have to check your email to get all of this stuff. Okay, but the answers on the back side, there are 10 problems. I'm just going to go in order. You should end up getting 2 square root of 2. I'm just going down in order. 6 square root of 3. Square root of 30, you cannot reduce. Then your next answer on the left is 40 square root of 6. And then you get 63 square root of 5. On the right side, you're going to get 5 square root of 3. 4 square root of 5. 5 square root of 5. 15 square root of 5. And 70 square root of 6. Okay, if you... So pause your computer, pause this video, um, and then you can check your homework answers on that. This, again, is the back side of the classwork paper that I handed out to you All right, that looks like this. All right, it's the back side of that paper. All right, so it's these 10 problems. Otherwise, you guys, let's, uh, let's wrap that up. I know you guys got plenty of things to do. I won't throw in. I won't throw out multiplying and dividing radicals for you today. Um, otherwise, I think that's that's pretty much it. So, as always, again, email me with questions and watch the Yay Math video. I will provide two more videos as resources for you, but you don't have to watch them. But if you're not getting the way that I taught it and the way that Yay Math guy teaches it, there is a an easier way. Um, that might work for you. Okay, so you have to make that decision on your own. Okay, but otherwise, I'll, I'll let you guys go. Uh, this is already a little bit too long, longer than I thought anyway. So please keep up the good work, guys. Um, if you get stressed, don't be. Um, you're, we're all learning and we're all adjusting, and you're doing a great job so far. So pat yourself on the back um, and give yourself some, some credit because you guys are in a tough spot. You're in a, a, a fun time in history. Imagine if you guys are going to be you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 years old, you can always say, we, we lived through the coronavirus. So keep hope alive, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise, keep it real. Have a great day. Um, I miss you guys. Um, and again, keep it real. Amen, everybody. Bye.